Jose Gonzalez, welcome. Thank you. It's good to be here. What a beautiful sound. What a great, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like the some kind of gentle groove that just uh, grows and very dynamic and melodic. It's, it's yeah, uh, It well, works. Thank you, yeah. Uh, I wasn't sure before I teamed up with all these musicians. <laughs> yeah. Re while recording it, that was what I aimed for. So. Well, you've chosen well. Yeah. It's a bunch of friends. You're on the road for a long time with these guys, so it's, it's a good crew. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, yeah, we've known each other from way back yeah. in, in different situations. So, James Matthew, who's singing, he, he goes on the name Barbarossa, and he uh, opened up for me when I played in London the first time oh, I played yeah. there, more than 10 years ago. Oh, wow. So, this is these are, these are old friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I could mention just quickly. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. And Jakob Albinson, we, we had a band together in the late 90s. <laughs> I was doing electric guitar in, yeah. in his band. Did you have uh, outfits? Uh, we, we did have, uh, at one show, remember, in Yislaved. It was a theater where we dressed up as bears. <laughs> 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 and uh, Joel Westbury has been uh, both in Junip, mostly in Junip, and then also yeah. with my solo stuff. And same with Andres Renteria. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, it's a it's a joyous a joyous sound you guys make together. So thanks for coming. Mm -hmm. I want to ask a little bit about uh, you know the rhythmic feel and the and the percussion and you know you're you were born in Sweden. Your parents are Argentinian. So did you grow up in a house that had Argentinian music or Latin music or or Swedish pop music or what was going on in your house when you were a kid? Um, yeah, there was some Argentinian music like Mercedes Sosa and uh, a band called Marcama uh, from Mendoza yeah. mainly. So Argentinian folk music, uh, you know, with pan flutes, guitars, right. a lot of harmonies. And, and um, the pan flutes we think about almost me being more Peruvian or Andean music, right? So is that the yeah, part of exactly. Argentina where they came from? Or? Yeah, it was, uh, so they, they played Andinian music, so all the way from, you know, in Bolivia, Peru, yeah. but also Chile, Argentina. Yeah. And did they come with... Um, did they share that sense of why they left with you as you were growing up? Like what, what it was that was going on in Argentina that made them flee to, to Sweden? Yeah, I mean, I heard so many stories while growing up about them fleeing and, and hiding from the military. Yeah. And, and then also many of their friends that, I, that I've gotten to meet. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, I grew up with all those stories. And, but at the same time, they've, they've been like fairy tales to me. Mm -hmm. So, like, I haven't really felt it in a... Right. Emotional way, I guess. Because you were living in Sweden, you're living in this com comfortable community, Gothenburg, college town. Exactly. So they, while well, they were struggling with Swedish and, you know, getting their education uh, acknowledged, uh, both psychology and biology on my mother's side, uh, we were just kids and just around, walking around and right. trying to do breakdowns. <laughs> <laughs> So that was going to be my next question. I was thinking about early in musical influences. So it sounds like breakdancing was a, was an early target for you. You had to get there. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, I was inspired by the kids on, on the block that were yeah. among the Swedish best breakdancers. So yeah. me and my brother, I was seven, he was six. We're trying to do all the moves. Yeah. <laughs> Could you do the thing spinning around on your neck and stuff like that? Uh, just like one. And yeah. Then <laughs> <laughs> one turn. <laughs> So was there, was there an Argentinian community, or, or were you just a family that was sort of isolated in this town? So uh, up until I was seven, we lived in a suburb to Gothenburg, mm -hmm. uh, where there was a lot of uh, people from Latin America, and especially Chile. So, yeah. so I had a lot of friends from Chile, Uruguay, Argentina. Yeah. Uh, then we moved into the center of the city, and uh, there it was a bit more white but, uh, and Swedish. Right. Um, but still I have I had friends from different parts of the world. Yeah. I mean, you're a strong uh, guitar player, and you have some really interesting bass lines. You play with your thumb, you know, it's just some, some unusual and, and uh, you know, very sort of, um, you know, they, they, they deserve paying attention to. You know, they're, they're not the obvious ones. So I don't know, were you ever a bass player, or does that just come from that, that Latin um, nylon string guitar tradition kind of thing? Yeah, so, so what I didn't mention was that I, uh, apart from the Latin American music, I also played uh, bass in a hardcore band, and uh, and then also learning bossa nova and then classical guitar. I, I sort of m mashed all of the, those influences yeah. into the guitar playing that I have today. Yeah. 
Not too much of the hardcore piece yet, but right? No, but but uh, I was playing bass in the hardcore band, so yeah. so at least I have those like yeah. you know bass lines in my head. While right. I'm, but but yeah, it's not it's very far away from hardcore. Is there a thing? Um, is there a thing in Sweden though about um, about young people learning uh, classical guitar? Is that something that's encouraged and promoted in school? Um, usually, it's a flute, like you call it recorder. I think. Mm -hmm. uh, right. So when I was seven, I was playing recorder. Yeah. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, like very simple <laughs> stuff, but but yeah, the, they have this music folk school now. No, music. Uh, what's it called? Yeah, like a public uh, high school type yeah. of thing that uh, encourage all the kids to, and it's uh, cheap and uh, or actually it was free. Yeah, <coughs> like and many things in Sweden. Yeah, yeah, we all pay through taxes yeah. and then we get the benefits. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's funny because I know um, Christian uh, Matheson, the, the tallest man on earth, also played, studied classical guitar and then yeah. went into sort of punk and heavy metal. And I just, yeah, yeah. I just didn't know whether that was a sort of a common uh, Oh, yeah, I was going to say, like, uh, so I started with recorder, but then later you get to choose between other instruments. Yeah. And, and I choose uh, bass, actually. Yeah. And the guitar was later. Um, yeah. Well, whatever it is, it's working great. It's a beautiful sound. It's a joyous sound you guys make. In case you just tuned in, you're listening to Etan. I'm here with Jose Gonzalez. Um, your tour is sold out. Yeah. The tour amazing. is sold Except out. Except for tomorrow in Salt oh, well. Lake City. <laughs> <laughs> it's Utah. So, <clears throat> but uh, um, we're going to go... Turn oh, oh, it's it, sold out now. It's sold out now, apparently. <laughs> they caught on. They caught on. Yeah. Even the morons came out. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I want to ask you just a little bit. As a songwriter, it must be really gratifying to be able to be creative in private and to express yourself poetically and, um, and musically and then, and then find out that lots of people uh, can, can relate, can resonate, can, can connect, and they come out to see you. That must be, I guess, surprising on some level, right? Yeah, definitely. And uh, I mean, I, I got very surprised the first time when my album came out and the song Crosses was playing on the radio. But uh, yeah, <laughs> it really changed my life. And, and that was yeah. the biggest surprise. Since then, it's been like, you know, every week, every month, every year, it's a surprise that I'm able to do what I'm doing. As a writer, though, do you think about, you know, because I, I, I look at your songs sometimes and I think that there's, they are inviting in a way, you know, they, they welcome people in both musically and poetically. And, and you're, you're telling the story a, a, just enough to invite people in, but you're not really telling the story. Do you think that's part of why people would come engaged in your songs a little more? Or I, I'm just I'm just making stuff up here, but yeah, um, maybe, but maybe not. I think uh, most of it is is uh, because of the sound. It's so I, uh, yeah. so I noticed uh, with, uh, doing the music for Walter Mitty and yeah. doing those two songs for their uh, compilation, uh, Stay Alive and Step Out. I noticed that if I if I chose to do a, a different style, then more people would like me. <laughs> so that's what I noticed with those two, those two songs. Regardless of the lyrics or the, the, <coughs> the words? I think those lyrics and, and those productions uh, worked oh, really see. well. Yeah. So, uh, so I'm, I'm thinking the enigmatic part that you're mentioning, I, I think that appeals to some, some of the listeners, but not, not all. Yeah. Well, there's also um, there's a lot of optimism in your songs. There's a lot of just... Uh, Positive ideas, not all of them. I think um, there's there's some obviously that are that are more uh, you know sort of source sinister. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like. The there's the one that made me think about Dick Cheney for some reason. I don't know. I don't know why. Uh, which one? Uh, uh, how low maybe? It was the the one about storytelling. Is that what it was? Called? Oh, stories we build, stories yeah, we yeah. tell. Yeah, I mean, uh, in a way. Sorry about that, but <laughs> it was just where it, you know it's where it took me. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I, I like honing in on different emotions. So when I'm yeah. doing the, vo uh, the music, I always start with, with guitar, and then I get certain ideas of what the lyrics could be about. And with that song, uh, I felt like I wanted to hone in on the feeling of, of anger and uh, the clenched fist. Right. And, um, y you know, everyone might have their object that they want to approach with a clenched fist. <laughs> yeah, but it was a softened clenched fist because you're ultimately asking, I wonder why they do what they do. I wonder what motivates yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. I'm a gentle yeah. guy. <laughs> <laughs> there's, um, there's another song, though, on the, on the new CD, which is great, but it's called Leaf Off uh, the Cave. And it's, the video for that is so interesting because it's this 
gathering of a community, kind of a spiritual community, humanist community, and and um, this this yeah. motto that came out of that gathering that I thought was great. And uh, it says, uh, "Live better, help often, and wonder more." It yeah. seems like a pretty good credo, actually. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, so it's uh, Sunday Assembly. They're called. Yeah. They started in in London. They've been around. Um, around the world, and uh, and uh, basically, it's uh, they have this, you know, getting together on a Sunday, yeah. eleven o'clock, singing, almost like mass karaoke style, <laughs> and might have uh, some poems, someone talking about, you know, I don't know, Earth, universe, yeah. or anything else. Uh, so, so yeah, it's a, it was. I thought it was interesting, and, and felt like it would be like a fun combination with that song. Right. And then it turned into a huge sing-along around your song, which was great. Yeah. yeah. Well, the videos, again, I mean, it's a whole other art form. And you, again, you mentioned doing the music for the, the soundtrack for The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, and you're getting engaged in more uh, film and television work, so that's a whole other style. But there's, there's um, I, I, you know, we have more music to get to, and I don't want to talk too long, but I mm -hmm. really appreciate you stopping by. I want to congratulate you on your success. Thank you. Um, and, and it's a success that, that um, as these people here can testify, it's really about connecting. And uh, as a songwriter, as an artist, that's, that's your highest goal, really, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Well, congratulations. We're going to get back to music. Welcome back, Jose Gonzalez.